Welcome to the part 3 of this video series. In this video series, we are covering Azure AI 900 important exam questions. Please focus on the explanations because it is important to clarify your concepts. Please subscribe my channel and like my videos. Please share your comments if this video is helpful. It helps me keep myself motivated to publish more such contents. Let's jump to the questions. For questions 1 to 10, please refer parts 1 and 2 of this video series. The question asks for which tasks can be performed by a computer vision service. There are four options. Options B and C look correct. Option B says detect faces in an image. This is an image and you can detect faces on this image using the computer vision service and you can also recognize handwritten text translate the text in an image between languages this most likely is a NLP service we will lock these two answers and move forward what is a use case for classification the trick to answer this question is whenever you see classification it is always linked to grouping now which option has grouping option b has grouping here options a and d can be predicted using regression models why because these are numeric values like how many minutes and how many cups of coffee so we will lock our answer and move forward which two tasks can be performed by a computer vision option a suggests to predict stock prices this is not possible through computer vision you have to use a regression model for this second says detect brands in an image let's look at the image this is the image and you can detect brands in an image this is possible through computer vision detect the color scheme in an image so this is an image and the computer vision can detect which color or which colors are there in this image and so these two are right answers now option d is possible through nlp that is natural language processing let's move to the next question so this question says your website has a chatbot and you must have seen in most of the banks as a first line of customer support a chatbot is active and if you type as a customer you if you type certain questions it will answer it now what this question says is based on what the customer is typing you want to analyze if the customer is upset that means you want to analyze the mood of the customer based on the text that is getting typed so if you see these options here only natural language processing fits the bill because using NLP we can analyze the text and understand the mood behind that text hence option D is correct but let's look at other options option A suggests anomaly detection take an example of a sensor and it is constantly sending feeds of data so if you see the on an average this is the range between this and this range the data is being sent but if you see there are two outliers this and this what we mean by outliers is that the data value is on an extreme side either it is too high or it is too low which can indicate that the load on the sensor is very high or the sensor is not performing and that is the purpose of anomaly detection it is not used to understand the sentiments behind what the customer is typing so a is wrong option b semantic segmentation this is a property of computer vision semantic segmentation it is not used with text or text analytics it is not used with text and c regression this is a model which is used mostly with numbers if you want to predict for example the future sales or the future volume of products that would be sold 
then we use regression but in this case it is not a fit now this question says which ai service should be used to interpret the meaning of call me back later there are four options here let's scan through the options the translator text this service is used to translate a message from one language to the other so this would not fit the bill option b text analytics this is something which uh, is used if there is a uh, unstructured text for example coming in from social media like twitter etc and you want to analyze those texts to understand the sentiment uh, behind a message uh, so or a social media sentiment and etc so it doesn't fit the bill here option c speech as your speech is a service which is used for speech to text or text to speech conversion and it doesn't fit the bill here language understanding is a service which will help you understand or interpret the meaning of call me back later so this is the right answer let's move to the next question now this question says that you need to make a press release of your company in different languages so what it means is you might be publishing this in a local language say english and now you want to make it available in a range of languages for example spanish or french or german or hindi telugu tamil etc so that means you you want to translate it and translated text is the service which is meant for this purpose and text analytics speech and luis i already explained in the previous question so you can refer that so this is the correct option and this is a correct answer let's move to the next question so this question says basically that we are developing a natural language processing solution the solution should analyze the customer reviews and determine how positive or negative the each review is that means you are trying to understand the sentiments and it is asking this example of which type of natural language so this is an example of sentiment analysis so now if you see language detection this is an example of text analytics it is not example of nlp now if you look at key phase extraction this is also an example of text analytics and the last option entity recognition this is also a part of text analytics so for nlp this is the only relevant option the option b is the right answer let's move to the next question so it says you are developing a solution that uses text analytics and you need to identify the main talking points in a collection of documents so you have a range of documents and you want to identify what are the main talking points like main pointers what is written in the document which type of nlp should be used for this purpose basically this here in this case we want to use key phrase extraction because you only want to know the main talking points that is the key phrases so so this is uh, something which works on json documents and it's an unstructured document so key phrase extraction will work on this unstructured document and it will give you the key phrases take this example uh, the food was delicious and there were wonderful stuff this is the input so what will the key phrase do is it will return the main talking points so for example it returns food and wonderful stuff these are the main talking points now we do not require a language detection here because that is not the problem statement and we are not even required to understand the sentiments because it's just talking about main talking points there is no sentiment linked to this and there is no need for entity recognition like something like a computer vision does there is no need for that as well so we will lock option b as our answer so this is the end of this video so this brings us to the end of part 3 please subscribe to my channel and like my videos do feel free to drop in your comments i will catch you in the next part of this video series